to jump right into our next question, which came in via text, and it reads, is Archangel Michael one and the same as Christ? I can find Michael mentioned three times, Daniel, Jude, and Revelation, but each time it's to contend with Lucifer, Satan, the dragon. Jesus is our savior, but can he be an archangel? Dr. Wally, now I know this is an extensive question and we just have a few minutes left, but we would really love to, to get an answer from the Bible. So what can you tell us? Yeah, this is a very important question. Uh, I mean, who is Jesus after all? This is yeah. the key to the question. And uh, we have references to Michael several times and to the archangel several times in the Bible, but only in mm -hmm. Jude 9 are they both mentioned together, which uh, mm -hmm. shows us that they are one and the same person. If we just, mm -hmm. first of all, look at Jude 9, it says, Yet Michael the archangel, in contending with the devil when he disputed about the body of Moses, dared not bring against him a reviling accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke you. So mm -hmm. Michael is called the archangel. Uh, the word uh, arch, uh, when it, it, this as a prefix to the word angel, it doesn't mean that Jesus is an angel. It means mm -hmm. that. Uh, the word arche in Greek refers to uh, a ruler. It's archon in, in Greek is the word for ruler mm -hmm. or commander. So Jesus is the commander of the angels. And uh, that's why he's called the archangel. We could look at Joshua, for example, chapter five, where he said, no, but as commander of the army of the Lord, I have now come. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and worshiped and said to him, what does my Lord say to his servant? Verse 15, then the mm -hmm. commander of the Lord's army said to Joshua, take your sandal off your foot for the place where you stand is holy. And Joshua did mm -hmm. so. So the, you know, this is, uh, you know, the place is holy because it's it's God's presence. Even though he's mm -hmm. called the angel, uh, you know, archangel here, the commander of the Lord's army, which is uh, army of angels, um, this is uh, not, uh, saying he's an angel, but he's actually the commander of God's angels, just as he's the head of the church of Christ. Um, Amen. And then also we could we could mention that um, in First Thessalonians chapter four, for the Lord Himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. So the voice of the archangel calls forth the dead. Jesus said, you know, they, uh, that uh, the dead would hear his voice and those who hear will live. So this uh, helps us know a couple of things. First of all, that Jesus mm -hmm. is the archangel who raises mm -hmm. the dead. And secondly, that uh, he is equal with God, equal with the Father, um, not a part of God, but mm -hmm. a full, fully God as one of the persons of the, God, of the Godhead. Excellent. Thank you so much, Dr. Clinton Walline. Uh, Pastor Kent, we only have a few seconds, but is there just anything short you would like to add to that explanation? Sure. Um, Michael is just one of the many names that's yes. given to Jesus, the, the second person of the, the Godhead. And mm -hmm. he's called many different names. It, it yeah. shouldn't imply, though, that Jesus is a created being. Jesus is yeah. the creator and mm -hmm. he's not just an angel in the same way mm -hmm. the United States president is the commander in chief of all the US military, but you'd never mm -hmm. call him a soldier in the same way. Yeah. Jesus is, is not just an angel. If we turn to Daniel chapter 12 and verse one, it says at that time shall arise Michael, the great prince who is charge of your people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never has there been since. Uh, there was a nation till that time, but at that time, your people shall be delivered. Everyone whose name shall be found written in the book. The most important thing about Michael is Michael is the savior of his people. And that's what Jesus does. Jesus is the savior.